I'm not filming that anyways. Go ahead. Go ahead and ask. Uh, I was about to say, as far as material cost, the ad pack that you buy the Type S versus the guy, is there a big difference? There's not. Once you, once you compare the square footages, Hi, Greg Hensley with Stone Edge Surfaces, and today we've taken Stone Edge Surfaces wall mix and we've applied it to this little section so that we can show you guys how to stamp an outside corner and an inside corner. As you can see here, I've already applied the actual wall mix and I've actually applied a little bit of bubblegum release agent and I've also applied a little bubblegum release agent to the actual Stone Edge Surfaces vertical stamp. And now I'm going to place the stamp into the actual mix. I'm going to hold one side while stamping the other, I'm going to get my impression, holding the end off of the actual material, letting it go out into the air. And then I'm going to come off, turn on a 45, touch the material, press lightly. Come off, come down the receding side, stamp. And as you see now, we have a nice bulbous concaved stone that doesn't have just a sharp edge coming down the actual end touch it, and then continue on. St switch sides, stamp that impression in. Coming in here, pressing nice and lightly, coming off, coming in here, and then boom. And we have so much material in the wall, I don't have to press hard. Hi, Greg Hensley with Stone Edge Surfaces, and today we've applied some Stone Edge Surfaces wall mix, and we began our stamping process, but we've gotten to a corner situation where our stamp won't quite fit into the actual process. So instead of having a stamp maybe that's not quite as unrigid as this, you can't bend it and get it where you need to do. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the actual stamp, we're just going to place it into the actual mix, stamp from the corner out and hold off what we've already stamped. And then whatever we have to fix with a margin trial or any texture skin, we'll do here in a second. Boom. As you can see, by doing that, I still have nice stone configurations and in all reality, there's not much I have to do to this to make my stones look like they're normal stones. Maybe put a little texture on these two pieces right here, but other than that, I don't have to do any line making to make them blend in correctly. Perfect. 
Hey, Greg Hensley with Stone Edge Surfaces, and today we've applied wall mix Stone Edge Surfaces material to this substrate. We've done an outside corner, we've done our expanse coming into the inside corner. We've showed you how to take a small area that you don't have quite enough room to put your stamp in and actually hold off here, stamp a little harder here, and how your stones will actually match up. Um, some people think that it, that would not happen, but you'd be surprised at how it kind of matches up. And if it doesn't, you can use a margin trowel or a grout roller to finish those lines and continue in them on. But what we're going to do now is we're going to continue on our process of using this wall mix and our stamp because there's always going to be a grout joint going down the corner of a 90 degree angle wall. Then now we're going to take our stamp, come pretty close. Don't have to go all the way into the stones you've already stamped. Stamp nicely on one side. Switch hands, stamp, and off, okay? Now, right here, because if you see, I don't really want these two stones to be similar, so maybe I take the margin trowel, right here, and I'll break this stone in half, but I'll keep this one with the texture, and now I don't have two different stones. I may even put a little bit of texture on one of these stones using a particular single stone stamp. Boom. Okay. Maybe I'll put this one in here. Boom. Now I've created stones that have a little bit of texture and some character and not having two large ones set side by side. Now is the process by when I would come down and actually roll a grout joint right down the corner after I actually stamp this. But all of this loose material right here, that will come out when you broom after you've stamped a little bit later on down the process. But that takes that off and softens up all these stones and makes them look nice and natural. Greg Hensley with Stone Services. Thanks for watching.